So we heard Alex Stanhope talk earlier today about um, fighting toxic working environments. Um, so just to start with, how many of you recognise some of those elements that he was talking about there? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Me too. Um, my take on this is that we would all benefit from more compassion, empathy and kindness among our teams. Um, so I want to talk about how we can use coaching skills to help grow these. So first of all, what do I mean by coaching skills? Well, um, I like to think of um, the role of a coach as that of a thinking partner. So someone who's going to help you work through your own problems and come to your own solutions about it. And in order to do this really effectively, there are three kind of core skills to master. The first one is all about listening. You need to listen really carefully to your partner. So give them the conch, as it were, um, and really focus on what they're telling you. This isn't about you. This is about them. So you're approaching their, uh, their situation with compassion. The second thing is all about asking really great questions. So what I mean by that is uh, open-ended and non-leading questions. You're trying to understand things from their position and helping them that way by getting to describe that. Um, and the third, third thing is about building trust. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this method, um, but it is all about helping your partner feel that you've got their best interests at heart, you've really got their back. Um, and a great way to do that is by showing them kindness. So I wanted to talk through uh, a simple model for coaching conversations that you can use to implement these skills. Um, this was the GROW model. It was developed by uh, Sir John Whitmore, uh, Graham Alexander and Alan Fine. Um, and it's a way of structuring your conversations. So the first step is to establish your partner's goal. What is it they're trying to get to? What's their achievable outcome? Um, and once you've got a really clear picture of that, the next thing is to talk about their reality, which might be a bit of a trash fire. Uh, and that's okay. This is about trying to get a complete picture of where they are right now. What are their challenges? What are they struggling with? But not trying to solve any of the problems at this point. Once you've got a really clear sense of that, you can move on to exploring the options in front of them. So what are the things that your partner could do next? Um, and this includes what support they might need to do that, who could help them, all of those sorts of things. The final stage, once you've had this lovely chat and got all this clarity, is to step onto something that they will do next. Now, again, it might not be this dramatic, um, but you want something that your partner feel that they can actually put into place themselves, some specific actions they can take. As you go through the GROW model, you will probably find that you'll loop back and forth through the different stages, and that's absolutely fine. Um, the key thing is really to end on that will, on that action plan. So we've got some coaching skills. We've got a model to uh, use them with. So how can we spread these ideas? Well, one thing I've done in the past is to run a series of coaching dojo sessions so people can practice these skills in a safe environment. Um, the first thing to do is to gather some interested folks and ask them to come along to a session with a problem or a situation that they're willing to talk about. Once you've got everyone together, um, you can run through the, um, the coaching skills and the GROW model uh, to establish the, the framework that everyone can use for the session. And when you're all comfortable with that, divide the group up into uh, groups of three. So within each group, you're going to have three roles. You'll have a coach, a player, and an observer. The coach spends 15 minutes coaching the player on their situation while the observer watches. And then at the end of that session, they give their feedback on what they've noticed about the conversation they've just seen. Rotate around those until everybody's had a turn at each role. And then bring the whole group back together and just share what you've noticed, what you've found about working with those coaching skills um, and the GROW model. So I found when we do this that by consciously uh, working on using those listening, asking and building trust skills, people naturally start to engage with more compassion, empathy and kindness towards each other. Um, so using those coaching skills can be a kickstart for a, a virtuous circle. Uh, I've put some links together so you can learn more about coaching skills, about the GROW model and running your own dojos. Um, I'd just like to ask, end on one more question. Um, who here now is going to have a go at using coaching skills to grow compassion, empathy and kindness in your organisation? Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you very much.